Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me John Jordan. So in this video I'm going to have a look at uh, what I've been doing in NFL Rivals when it comes to buying and selling players in the game. So I should point out that I am not trying to make money doing this. This is not a investment scheme. I was just suddenly interested. I wonder if I um, have made any money. <laughs> so um, so uh, let's have a look at how I do this. So um, obviously, uh, as I always do, <laughs> I've created a uh, an Excel sheet. Um, and here I've put in um, all the uh, players that I have uh, bought and sold and the... Um, date at which I bought them, the date at which I sold them. Obviously, uh, you also need to know the price of the Myth token, so all the uh, trading happens. Uh, we'll have a look at that on in the Mythical Marketplace, um, and it's all um, done in the Myth token. So one key thing you have to be aware of is obviously like all, <laughs> like all projects, the Myth token goes up and down. So if we look at CoinGecko here, um, we see... Um, I'm looking at this in pounds just because it's easier for me because um, I'm in the UK. Um, but we can see here, um, so at one point the Myth token was over one pound and now it's about uh, 40, 40p. So um, obviously that, that that has a sort of big issue if you're buying um, <laughs> NFTs at this price. Uh, say I bought an NFT for 10 Myth at this price and I'm selling it for 10 Myth <laughs> here. Um, obviously I'm getting much less money in terms of fiat currency. So you have to be aware of that, which is why I have these two columns here. So the Myth price at which I bought the token, the NFT, and the Myth price at which I sold the token. Okay, so we can do a, base of, a bit of basic maths on this sort of stuff. So let's have a look at this guy here, first one up. So I bought um, uh, Levaticus Murray at five uh, Myth when Myth was 20 cents. And I sold at uh, seven myth when it was uh, 38p, so that was good. I sold it for more myth, and the price of myth had gone up. Um, we always have to be aware that the uh, the marketplace takes a fee. So I sold it for seven. I only got six. So um, the sort of gross price was two pound 66p, uh, but the myth mythical took 38p of that. So that's a sort of uh, so my sort of gross profit was one one pound sixty six, but my net profit was one pound um, twenty eight. So that was quite a good deal, as you can see here. Um, you know, because I'm not doing this as an as investment, I'm just doing this to sort of improve my squad. So basically, I I buy players, um, or I get players in the game, um, and then I when I have when I've sold some other players, I go in and sort of buy better players, and then sell off the players I I, I don't need. Um, so that's what's going on. Let's have a look at the marketplace so you get an idea about how that works. So this is the uh, mythical market um, where NFL rival stuff is sold. Um, so at the moment, it's just showing this. Th these are these are not players. These are blueprints. So this is how you create NFTs. You need um, a blueprint, and then you need uh, to level up the sort of base player, the non-NFT player, and then you can fuse them together, and then you can create an NFT. So we can look here and actually look at players, which is a bit more useful. So these are all NFTs. Um, in this case, this is a rare, a rare NFT. Um, there's different rarities, obviously. Um, probably, obviously, Mythical is going to be the most expensive. And we can see here, the cheapest Mythical is selling for three hundred dollars. Um, and the uh, the sort of the, the point of getting better cards is is the power. So the power is the sort of important bit in the game. And obviously, uh, as well as being rare, this one is a um, pretty powerful card. So I think my most powerful card is about 140 and most of mine are about 120 so this is obviously you know whether this is worth this who knows um so um so obviously uh what we can do is um we can go this is just the marketplace where people are buying and selling any any old card but if i wanted to say um i could say uh, i want a new um quarterback this would give me all the quarterbacks and maybe i want a uh, epic quarterback for some reason and maybe i want a epic quarterback who is um power of 130 and then this will give me all the cheapest one at the moment is Derek carr so power 135 and he will cost me 11.36 uh, myth so only six dollars so pretty good card um if i wanted to do that obviously it's different um players um at different uh giving different sort of power levels so that's basically uh what i'm looking at um so we might want to see which um which card did i make or how did i oh, so overall in gross profit i made um 80 almost 88 pounds in net profit i made 52 pounds so interestingly um no no matter whether you make money or not 
epic, uh, epic, sorry, mythical made um, 38 pounds in fees. So um, we could just quickly do, um, you know, how much did they make? So 41% um, uh, <laughs> of, of, of the trading went to mythic. So that's obviously their sort of fee for, um, uh, you know, creating the game and having all the marketplace stuff. Now you may think that's high or low, who knows, but that's just what it is at the moment. Um, so I made 50, net 52 pound and they made 30, um, 36 pounds. So um, that's an interesting sort of thing. And at the moment, actually, they are, they're taking a fee off the, when you sell something, they're not taking a listing fee. So they could be in, a, it's when you when you list a something to sell, it says listing marketplace fee, um, you know, is not applied at the moment. So if they wanted to, they could also take a fee off the off you listing. Um, probably would annoy people if they did. Um, so, but which which um, well, how did I make the most uh, money? So, off individual cards, um, not not so much. So you know you, you lose. I'm not buying three hundred dollar cards. So this is not expensive stuff. So these are you know I'm selling. I'm buying these for you know a dollar, two pound, three pound. You know. I'm not spending a lot of money buying um, buying these cards, but the the, the um, place where I made the money, I mean not very much, but uh, where I made the money were these ones here. So this is this is these are not players; these are what they call the helmets. So these are sort of the um, the team helmets. We'll have a look at those, and you need those to create sort of alliances or guilds in the game. And if you have one of those, you can create a guild, and uh, you can earn a sort of different currency, a special currency. So these ones are obviously more expensive. So you can see here. Um, I bought one of these for 50, 53 pounds um, and sold it for 96 pounds. So that's where, you know, this is where the majority of the profit is happening, if the profit is happening. So I bought one for 77, sold it for 118. So let's have a look at these. Um, so these are not players. Um, these are, if we're gonna, uh, let's just refresh. It's, oh, because I've got the power eating one. No, it's Okay, so these are squad helmets. So the squad helmets, I say, are these. Um, so, so there's not. It's interesting. They, they're at the moment. They there's only certain teams that they, that, that are available. Um, so there's a complicated thing where they sold them on the Ethereum blockchain, and the mint didn't really. They did it at the wrong time. The mint didn't work very well at all. So there's not very many. There's a quite, quite short short supply of these at the moment, particularly for as you can see for some um, uh, for some teams. Um, but these are, you know, the cheapest one here is $124. Uh, so the price sort of, again, goes up and down, depends on the price of myth and all that sort of stuff. And obviously within, in the off season now, American football's not happening because the Super Bowl finished, you know, two months ago. So at the moment, you know, probably people are just is trying to sell them off, get rid of them. Um, maybe these things will change later on. Um, they're gonna be reissuing these. So more of these are gonna be made available. So that I would say probably the price of these is gonna drop over time. Um, so, uh, so that's sort of where I, you know, as much as I made money, that that was where I, um, uh, you know, these are these are sort of bigger, bigger. Uh, these are more valuable items. There's fewer of them. They have a particular function in the game, um, and they say that there's um, uh, the supply is sort of constrained anyway. And, and you can imagine some people, you know, maybe I want a Minnesota Vikings. That's the team I play in the game. So if I want a Minnesota Vikings um, uh, helmet, um, at the moment there's only three available. And it's going to cost me three hundred fifty dollars. Um, if, if if I don't care so much and just want one, I can buy a Rams uh, helmet, and that's going to cost me you know three times as less, three times three, three times uh, you know um, yeah. So um, that's what's going on. It's always you know I don't know. I say this is not an investment. This is not investment advice. I'm not doing this as as investment. But it is interesting to see um, you know are you <laughs> are you losing money or are you um, making money. Um, and the other thing actually to point out is there is, uh, let's have a look. So if I go into my inventory, if I wanted to, um, I could, so this is my most valuable card, Jordan Addison. Um, and this is, so you have this option where it says instant sell. So I could just sell this one straight away for $25. He's actually much more valuable than that. Um, so if I go here to the marketplace, um, so if I find on the marketplace, Jordan Addison, uh, my one's actually not quite this powerful. My one's um, 148, but you can see he's actually selling for uh, 95 um, myths. So if I came in with my one, I could probably sell it for 
I don't know, maybe if I was going to sell it, I could sell it for maybe 80. So um, that would be 80 myth. Um, and it's selling, I say, an instant sale for 52. So um, the, the instant sales are always always low ball you. Um, but um, so that would be pretty good. And if I go to here and um, if I find um, how much I bought him for. So Jordan Addison bought on the 11th of May um, for, for seven, seven myth. So if, so if I'm set bought him for seven I've, I've leveled him up for some reason he's got um, he's a powerful card in the game then and I can sell him for 80 then then even though the price of myth is is sort of lower than it was then so if I did this let's just see if I can do it uh, <laughs> if I sold it for let's say sold it for 70 uh, my net would be I don't know it's probably 60 um, if the price of myth today is uh, 0 0.38 and um, why is it not filling up? So there we go. So if I did that, then I would I would be making like twenty twenty pounds um, if I sold it at seventy. Maybe I could sell it for more. Maybe I could sell it for eighty, and then I'd be yeah making more so so I guess there's always the idea that these are the ones I've sold but I have you know I have a whole team worth if I wanted to stop playing the game and sold them all out um, then I would you know you could sort of start doing I could in, like instantly sell them all um, out and I'd probably be getting maybe a hundred dollars something like that you see some of these are listed um, already um, so, so there we go so yeah that was uh, the video today as I say not investment advice just uh, sort of messing around with this sort of stuff uh, but I think it is interesting, and it, I guess it does go to show. Um, oh, I don't do that. When it does go to show that when you do, when you are just playing a game, and I've not really put, I spent some money in here, but you know, on on um, on the battle passes and stuff like that. So it's not like I've not spent any extra money on this. So I'm probably broken even. Really, I've probably spent sort of twenty, thirty pounds on 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 things in the game. Uh, so sort of in that purchases and stuff so but but um it just give you an idea when you're just playing the game then you are actually sort of creating assets um and uh, and they may have some sort of value if you want to cash them out so worth um, thinking about personally i really like nfl rivals i'm not a big american football fan so i don't like it because it's an american football game but i think it's quite an interesting example of of, of blockchain uh, a blockchain game and how you sort of integrate these sort of nfts um and and that that, the, that sort of process in, in a game that's going live through App Store, so I would recommend you download it for the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, but that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.